Hope everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Away from the screens, as we mentioned last week, uh, Thanksgiving week for us has become a total waste of effort, and markets typically drift one way, and uh, without news, things don't change. And that played out in a lot, pretty much across all assets, uh, stocks, bonds, um, currencies, with the exception of the U.S. dollar, which was down last year. All were up last week in the, you know, Let's call it three days of trading. Friday's a half day, but and even for that matter, I'd call it two two days plus Wednesday and Friday. So here's what I see: everything was up, and one of the things you'll note, uh, I just want to point out the euro. And, and remember, we've also talked a little bit about the end of the year. What are the things that have been up all year? Well, the S and P, the Nasdaq, the Dow, the Russell have been up all year. The euro. Uh, has been one of the better performers. Remember the turn of the um, year. We were down here below 105, and now uh, Friday we had another little sprint all the way back to almost to 120. Here's the deal. Uh, we can run, and we talked about this before, we can run all the way up here to 125. None of it really matters because this is a daily chart, and this is a heavy chart. And uh, the, the reason why I say it's heavy is because We've got all this up here that uh, we're just coming back into value, and we talked about this previously. The, the value zone is a really starting run here at 120, and, and we're pushing right up to it again. We got over it once before, but unless we can close over this on a month end, so watch this 121 number. If we can't close on this by Thursday, uh, which is the 30th uh, coming up of November, that might be uh, all she wrote again on this most recent little wiggle and rally but if it can close above it again we could go a little bit higher we could run all the way up here to 137 147 anything's possible but at the end of the day you still have a broken chart you've got you know fundamentals falling apart in europe i would be surprised if we even get over this trend line and for me really bullish is going to be number one getting over this trend line on a month and a year end close along with getting over this uh, value zone of 136. I don't see all that happening in a, the short period we have left in the year. Now, that being said, there's your risk. So uh, let's take a look. Don't jump into these markets right away on Monday just because you haven't traded for a week. Matter of fact, I would almost sit for the first day, sit Monday, see how we close and really be patient. There's no hurry. Whether you're looking at the Euro, you're looking at the S&P, uh, these are daily charts. You're looking at uh, a number of things that uh, we went considerably higher. And uh, I do think that we will go considerably lower over time, but you've got to come back and, and take a look at some of these things. So here's where we are. Uh, again, take a look at the euro. And if you look at the shorter time frames, let's get down to the hourly. You can see it had a huge move, huge spike again towards the end of the week. If you can get back up to this 120 level, 121, uh, look to put on. You've got these triumvirate of uh, peaks that we saw late August, September, and October. Maybe we'll see a similar move here, one more push early tomorrow, Monday. So that is it. Let's see how the market's open again. Give it some time. But I mean, I'm looking at the euro for a significant move and a pullback here. Uh, and, and, and I would wait uh, to see how this opens up tonight on Sunday and uh, put on a trade uh, going forward to the short side. So again, everything got juiced pretty hard at the end of last week. Matter of fact, I did I did have some orders that filled uh, on the S&P. They also filled on some of the other uh, charts. So as we uh, close out November, uh, today is the 26th, tomorrow, Monday, the 27th, look for uh, what type of closing happens tomorrow, Monday, and then what kind of closing happens both Thursday, the 30th, and then uh, first Friday, I believe, as usual, we should have jobs report out on Friday. So there could be a lot of volatility this week where, where, where volatility, in fact, has been crushed. And I would suggest that, uh, you know, shorting, pick your vehicle of choice. But VIX is back into the nines, and every time it gets back into the nines, I'm interested in buying. So this is a daily chart, and you can see here we're back, uh, as we have been for so much of time, uh, in 2017 in the single digits. This too shall pass, but uh, here, here's the red line where we closed. Uh, we traded as low Friday all the way down to 857, almost test tested the year low. Got so slow, they just somebody came in and sold the shit pile of VIX, probably at the wrong time, by the way. So uh, 
keep that on your radar. But uh, again, how many closes have we had under 20 in 2017 below 10? I've got to guess it's close to 30 now, which is unbelievable. We've never seen this kind of just dragging along the bottom. The lures are dragging in the muck on the bottom. And uh, 2018, I have a feeling it's going to be a very volatile year. So happy Thanksgiving. Hope everybody had a great weekend, and we'll see you back here this week. And uh, be careful. No hurry to trade aggressively uh, this week unless uh, something changes in the uh, landscape real quickly.